So let's say you're unable to access your gallery on your Samsung Galaxy phone. This problem happens because of app permissions or corrupt data issues. So here's how you can fix it. Solution 1. Allow app permission. So go to your phone settings from here and then scroll down to apps. And after this, tap on apps to open the settings and find the gallery app from here. Once you find the gallery app, just tap on it and then tap on permissions. Make sure to give your gallery app all the permissions that are shown here, the music and audio, notifications, photos and videos, contacts, location, and everything. Your gallery app is a really important system app and it needs all your permissions so that you can use it properly. So make sure to enable the permissions and after this, check your issue. Just choose all the permissions over here and select always allow, like allow only while using the app or something like that and hit done. So usually this fixes the problem, but if this does not fix your problem, then you can just go back and then scroll down and find a storage option over here. So just open storage and then choose clear cache. Once you have cleared the cache of the gallery app, just simply restart your phone. Just hold power button like this and hold on to it and then select restart from here. Once you select restart, your phone will reboot and this will hopefully fix the problem. But in case the issue is still persisting after this, then you can try the next solution and it will be a surefire way to fix the problem. So what you can do is go to your settings. Never mind, let's go to settings again. And then we will scroll down and find general management and tap on it. We will scroll down again and select reset. Scroll down once again and select reset all settings. After this, you have to choose reset settings and hit reset from here. This will reset all your settings, including your Wi-Fi passwords, your mobile data preferences and your wallpaper preferences. But it will not delete any of your data, so you don't have to worry about that. So simply go on with it and make sure to remember your Wi-Fi password and that will do the trick. Hopefully, your issue is fixed now. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, then don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more useful tips on the Samsung phone. Thanks a lot for watching.